I really date my life pre-injury and post-injury. Titania was the first role that I danced when I returned after having been away for 14 months, and that was March the 1st, 1978. Titania was a new role, and in a way, a new beginning. Pull back and shoot forward. Her partner today is Anthony Dowell, star of England's Royal Ballet. He's a dancer of great precision, quicksilver brilliance. And with all that, a wonderful elegance. Elegance of line and uh, his clarity of communication, of, uh, of being able to communicate a meaning to a movement is really very, very special. I remember after the first rehearsal saying to Alexander, this is just fantastic. I can't remember when I've been so excited. Critics have crowned him king of the Royal Ballet. Others see him as one of the finest classical male dancers in the world. Dowell was in his very early 20s when Frederick Ashton chose him to create the role of Oberon in the dream. Thus began his legendary partnership with Antoinette Sibley, who created Titania. When I think back over the years, I realize how much one has fleshed out the role and how much more humor one has brought to it. Ah. <laughs> that spe <a> special <laughs> one. <laughs> I couldn't even do the next She's going to get you off. Put him off. You put him off. <laughs> you know from a few minutes whether you're going to get on and how much give and take there is because naturally, although we're dancing the same versions, different bodies and different physiques will feel strange at first and if you find that that person is willing to give as you're willing to give too that's the most important thing in ashton's midsummer night's dream shakespeare's fairy queen expresses her temperament in the language of dance it demands a very quick polished uh, clean technique just from the sort of technical point of view of being a dancer you have to be probably a pretty good dancer to be able to do the role of Titania and that might not be apparently obvious in the beginning you might think oh well it's just arabesques and a pas de deux and it's some runs on point but in fact getting all the nuances and the subtleties uh, in the way that Sir Frederick has choreographed them to the music I think takes a fair amount of of maturity When it was created, Mr. Frederick picked Antoinette's special qualities, and um, he wanted the role rather crazed, mad, very sort of almost nymphomaniac qualities, wild. And I missed that a lot when Antoinette didn't dance it. When Veronica and I first came to do the dream together, those qualities came back. I had something to work against, which sparked something off, and that was um, very thrilling to find again. Now, a moment of stillness. Yes. Pull away. And up. I think to actually convince the audience that you are indeed Titania, the Fairy Queen, doing many strange and uh, <laughs> sort of humorous things, that is difficult and a nice dramatic challenge. You can always be outrageous in the things you do as long as you remember that there's that certain sense of whimsy that, un that underlies the whole characterization and the whole story, that it's actually delightful. In those 14 non-dancing months, Tennant had her child and wrote a successful children's book, On Stage, Please. Yes. But her main source of self-expression right had been stopped an experience which would prove, in her own estimation, a watershed in her development. She felt banished from part of herself, so that returning in the dream was like returning from exile. 
I just thought I would actually break down in the dressing room because all of that sort of routine that was part of the normal dancer's life, I had been absent from for so long, and it, it had meant a lot to me. I, I couldn't believe that I was back, and, and back as something else, as someone else in a new ballet. The process of recovery had been painful and slow. It had meant learning to walk all over again, hoping, despite the odds, that dancing would follow. But somehow she persisted, determined not just to dance again, but to dance better than before.